Baseball for you. Class A baseball championship found with taking on Bangor found within its first A championship game against Bangor, which was trying to win its third straight. Found with coming in unbeaten on the season. It was scoreless into the third. Derek Fournier, though, breaks up that scoreless game, drives in Kyle Stevenson of Bangor. Rams would add one more in the inning. They're up 2 0. Found with loads the bases with two outs in the fourth, but Trevor Delate. Oh, just overpowering. Gets a strikeout, gets out of the jam. Bangor loads the bases in the sixth, looking for more. And Stevenson comes through. Two run single. That extends the Bangor lead. And Trevor DeLate, he's headed to Maine. He's been the most dominant pitcher in the state the last two years, showing why. A three hit shutout in the state championship in Bangor with a three peat, five to nothing over Falmouth. All right. More baseball. Class B championship. Freeport, the Cinderella story. The seven seed from the south taking on Old Town. Falcons strike first. Colby Wagner singles in Madwell. Doty, two score. Fans of Freeport showing up in big numbers at Mansfield Stadium. They're fired up, but Old Town would respond. They played four runs in their half of the first. Ethan Stoddard, the pitcher, helps his own cause with the RBI. 4-2 Coyotes after one. Old Town brings in four more runs in the second. Caleb Gifford drives in Cole Daniel from second. It's 8-2. Coyotes score 12 unanswered runs as Austin Sheehan hits the walk-off double in the fifth inning. Ten-run rule in effect as Old Town, its first ever baseball championship, 12-2 over Freeport. Sockabee Valley and George Stevens Academy in the Class C final. First inning, Roderick Maynard, the single to right field. Brady Anderson trucking around to score 1-0 Sockabee. They had to come from behind in the regional championship. Today, they're playing out in front. Brandon Burnell led off the fourth with a double, and he's going to hustle home to beat a wild throw to give the Hawks a 3-0 lead. Eagles will get a pair back, but Maynard ends it in with his ninth strikeout of the game. 3-2, Sockaby Valley is your Class C champion, their first title since 1993. Well, it feels good to be on top. Two years ago, it came back, got upset. We we're 19-0, but this year we finally regrouped. We we're all seniors. Wasn't a better way to end it. We came back with a win. It was awesome. Class D final featuring a couple of really northern teams, Penobscot Valley and Searsport. Scoreless into the fourth when the Vikings put a big inning together. A two-run knock. Right here, they're up five to nothing. But Obscott Valley got two runs in the game. Thomas Spencer, the Winkin Award finalist, with an RBI double here. But Sear Sports, Kyle Moore did it all today, even getting hit in the neck. He drove in runs, and Sear Sport is your state championship, ten to two, over Penobscot Valley. Class A softball.